Welcome back to the Madhouse Asylum server. This is the Colonel. Thank you for joining me today. What the heck is this? Well, let me tell you. <laughs> I don't have patience. <laughs> At least not when it comes to these villagers. They're driving me nuts. Uh, so trying to wait for zombie villagers to come by. Um, <clears throat> it's got me to a certain point, but it needs. I need to get more. <laughs> Basically, uh, I've got 11, 12... 12 or 13 villagers, I think. Um, none of them are farmers. I need to get some farmers. And uh, I need to fill out the rest of the pens in there to get the village going. So I think this is far enough away that it's not going to affect this. Uh, but basically, I need to get some more of a breeding going on. And I don't have... So you're supposed to be able to feed them with and maybe it's only the farmers that you feed i don't know uh, but i've tried feeding the other guys and they just they haven't done anything and i need to get trades going and the two that i had in the uh the little zombie purification area that they didn't have the trades that i really needed so i, I was looking around and i found a couple um that did like wool and i did there's one that does zombie flesh i think so I'm thinking that maybe we grab a couple of those guys and uh, put them in here, and then they can breed. Uh, so basically the mechanism here is very similar to the concept of the farm here. So the two guys here, we trade with them, we breed, and then um, and then once they're, the little guys can run around here, and hopefully they run off the end uh, because we've got trap doors here so they run off the end they flow into the water and then the water pushes them to a collection area right here so uh, then we can stick a couple of carts here and be able to pull them out find out what they are and if they're not the farmers then we can stick them in the pens and if they are the farmers then we can redirect them so uh, we'll show you the the redirection mechanism down there very simple um, so, you know, this will get us to what we need to run the farm over there and have the farm itself self-sustaining, and then we can tear this down. So, uh, we flattened off the top up here a bit just to make room for it. Maybe we'll put something up here later. Uh, we've got 16 doors, which should be plenty for what we need for. Uh, so, let's head down here. Actually, you know what? I've got a minecart. Look at that. Right. So this little uh oh, we're gonna hit. We're gonna hit something. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! No! Oh my God! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Holy crap! <laughs> that would not have been good. Not have been good. All right, um, so <laughs> let's try this again. Oh my god, my heart. All right, so uh, basically the path, <laughs> the, the carts are supposed to initiate from down here. So when they come this way, we can go up to the farm. And if we pull out the wrong guy, then we can redirect him back down here uh, with this thing here. Um, otherwise, uh, when we get the villagers from up there, we want them to come back down into the pens down here. So this will kind of redirect them down. And I think right now the cart, the this thing here, is going to this guy. Because these are the guys that we want to pull from. Because they have the, uh, the cleric and they also have the shepherd, I think it was, is what it is. Uh, so... That is what we're going to try and grab. Uh, you know what? I don't have enough iron for two, so we'll just get the one. And, um... Oh, man. I don't even have a... I wonder. If you have a hop... A minecart... With a chest in it, if you break it, I think you get the minecart and the chest separately. And if that's the case, then I can make a furnace minecart and just power this guy. Maybe that's what I'll do. Uh, but let's... <laughs> Come 
Come on, man. <laughs> These guys, they are so finicky. Come on, dude. Into the corner here. Well, you're already in the corner, but... No, what are you doing? There we go. Not the guy I want. Dang it. Just gotta rearrange the tracks now. <laughs> Crap. Uh, we'll rearrange them so that when he comes back around the loop, um, we'll drop him in here. Ugh, this is gonna be such a pain. But at least we'll get the two that we need. Uh, so let me go do that, and um, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so the question now is, do I need a cleric? Whose second trade is gold? Or a leather worker whose second trade is emeralds. I'm thinking the leather worker. There you go, buddy. Alright, so now we put this guy here. Oh, this is not good. It's night. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh, this is not good. Go, 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 go. No, get up there, man. Did he make it? He did. Oh, thank God. All right, so now we got two buddies in here. Uh, let's... No, no, no. No. God, man. These guys are so derpy, man. Alright, so we got two guys in here. And let's put the glass in so that they don't escape. Perfect! Alright, so we got our two villagers in here. So now let's uh, clean up some of this. And then uh, we'll try and do a trade and see if we can get them to breed. And see how that goes. Well, this is interesting. There's already a baby villager. Um, that's very interesting. Good job, guys. <laughs> I didn't even have to trade with you. <laughs> oh, man. Unexpected. Um, so I'm thinking here that maybe I should get rid of the glass and just put a, uh, a fence in here. And that way, um, that way they can't escape and I can actually figure out what they are without them jumping over. Oh, well, actually I can't because I can't, I can't interact with them until they're adults. So I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, but I still need to get to the adults. So I need to put a fence in here so that I can at least get to the adults. Yes, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, but we have our two villagers here, and uh, now I need to just, um, actually, I need to go back to our purification area. There we go. Because I need to get these guys back into, back into one of these chambers. And so there's two there, and I think there's one left in this one. That is correct, sir. So we just need to spiffy this area up a bit. Oops. There we go. And then we'll just run the tracks directly into here. And as we go back, we'll just, you know, break the tracks. And, uh... Everything should be fine and dandy oh. Okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. Alright. So we've got the uh, the two villagers out of the purification area. That was a pain. Finally, a creeper blew up <laughs> right in my face. Took out half of the place. But thankfully, both of those guys survived. And uh, thankfully, the actual farm itself wasn't damaged. So who do we have? We have a toolsmith. 
All right, so toolsmith, we don't really care about. <laughs> so we'll now fill up our last pen. Uh, hmm, how am I gonna get you in there? How am I gonna get you in there? Mm, don't want you. Do not want you. I think they're both the same. Hmm. How are we going to do this? <laughs> How in the hell am I going to do this? Ugh. This is supposed to be easy, man. Uh, all right. Oh, another dude. Uh, all right. I'm going to figure this out. <laughs> I'm figure out how to get this stupid guy out of here. Um, I'm wondering maybe if I need to go into the other corner back here, but I don't think I can do that. Ooh, man. They kind of tend to congregate in the four corners, but... I guess if I do no nope. I saw that I saw that move dude not cool hmm I thought you had to breed force breed these guys I guess not so this is gonna make it a little challenging I think Um. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing here. Uh, there's got to be a way to get these guys. You know, now that I think of it, I don't even think I need to have the fence in here because we don't really care until we actually get the guy uh, in... Um. Hmm... So let us say for argument's sake, let us say for argument's sake, that we do this and we do this. And we do something along the side here uh, where we put the fence on the side. Maybe that'll work. Their fence gun. Okay, let's try that. See if that works. No, no, no. What are you doing, you stupid idiot? Damn it. Crap. Did not want to do that. So I'm thinking, <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm thinking, uh, that doesn't make any sense. Oh, man, stupid glitchy blocks. There. Let's see if this works. Oh, come on, dude. Throw me your friggin' bone. Just took some patience, waiting for them to come close. Uh, all right, so this is a toolsmith, and we don't really care about them. So 
Um, I need to make sure that the way is clear and I need to also block that back off. No, 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 no. You stupid idiot. You stupid dingbat. Oh, man. Yeah, you're sitting there like a dumb freaking sitting duck. Man. You guys are so frustrating. No! Oh my lord! I cannot be wait to be finished with you guys. Man, oh man. So much trouble. Alright, get your butt in there. Oh, for crying out loud, miss the opening. Holy laggy. Alright. Four. Done with that one. Probably should close off the top. That way I don't have to worry about zombies at all. Probably will do that at a later date though. Let's get this next guy ready to go. There we go. And there's another adult up there. I just I feel so I just don't want to have those things die. I thought I blocked that off. All right, come on, dude, you're next. Let's go, buddy. Let's go. Let's go. Actually, either one of you will do. I don't want any zombies to go down that hole. Let's go. Let's go. One of you guys. Come on, man. Gotta keep an eye out for zombies. Don't see any. Come on, man. Dude. One of you guys is... No, where are you going? <laughs> Come on, man! Throw me a freaking bone! Come on, move around, do something. I don't want to punch you, but I will. There. Good lord. Another toolsmith. Exactly the same as the first. Go. 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 Alright. Block this up. Nothing I can get down. There you go. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, dude. Freaking frustrating, man. Alright, so how many have we got in here? Three. We need one more for that one, and then we need four for this guy, and then we're done with that. And then I think the Iron Golem should start spawning, if I'm not mistaken. So, let me uh, get the rest of these guys in here, and fill up, those, uh, fill up the pens, and then we'll be back. Oops. There we go. And then we'll be back and uh, see if we can get any farmer villagers. That's what I really want. Uh, anyway, back in MO. Alright, so let's go down here. I've done some work to try and spiffy things up and get things working the way they're supposed to. So we've got the covers on each of these, and we've got four villagers in each. And I've noticed that... Okay, so you have to have an open 
like a sky block <clears throat> on the outside of the door to indicate that it's a house so that the villagers can oh man pardon me <clears throat> so that you can <clears throat> so that the opening here indicates that the villagers have kind of a house so when I opened this up, uh, all of the guys over there stopped breeding. So I'm thinking that it could be that this is still too, or at least the breeding area <clears throat> is still too close to this. Um, so it might be an issue. So I, I can't remember how many blocks. I, I want to say 128, but I never really counted. So <laughs> maybe I need to start counting. <laughs> so uh, we've got... Everything, you know, kind of sectioned off there. And we have... We have iron. So the golems are spawning. I, I can't see them because I don't have a viewing area. Um, and I probably need to, to dig some tunnels or something down there. Uh, but basically, we have 22 iron. So that's not too bad. Um... I'm very happy with that, in fact. So, we are already generating iron from our iron garland farm. So now the thing that we need to get done is to get some of these guys in here to farm so that they can breed. So, we're going to go back up here. Actually, let me take a quick screeny shotty or a marker. So, we are at... 380, let's say 383, 383, and our breeding facility, uh, let's say, oh wow, 319, that's way too close, huh, I thought we were a lot further away, crap. Um, alright, so maybe the answer is to put this somewhere else. Um, let me, let me find out exactly how much space I need between uh, this to have it register as a different town. Um, and figure, figure out what we're going to do here. Because I don't think these guys are going to breed as long as there's that village over there. I could be wrong though. But I sat here for about a good 15, 20 minutes and didn't see anything. So we shall see. And uh, started doing some pigs over here, mostly for trading. Um, so <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm sort of lost right now. I need to figure out how to get farmers up here. That's, that's my next problem to figure out. And the only thing I can think of is to... Build this far enough away from that so that these guys will breed. Um, and we can just chuck the, the farmers in here. So, anyway, um, let me go back and look up some things and see where we're at. And uh, hopefully, we can get some villagers going. Uh, if not, we'll move this and then we'll come back. Okay, so it appears as though you need about 66 blocks between the center of one village and the center of another village so that they don't mix together. And I don't know, from the edge of that to the edge of this, it was 64, I think, or 63. So I don't, I mean, I can't imagine the middles being closer than that. But either way, I moved this back three blocks <laughs> and uh, I did see a little baby villager, so... I guess it's working, I assume. So we're just going to keep an eye on this for a little bit and uh, make sure that we got some villagers breeding. And then uh, I guess the rest of it is just a waiting game to see if we can get some farmer villagers and get those guys sent over there. Uh, we are still accumulating iron, probably not as fast. Uh, actually, you know what? I spent most of my time over here. Um, maybe... I think we had like 32 or 35 iron or something. Um, 
Let's see how many we have. Because I'm not sure if this is thing loaded while I'm over there or not. It appears it is. So that's cool. So I can be doing work on the top of the hill there. Um, with the villagers. And just waiting for... Waiting for villagers to spawn. And we'll continue to generate iron. Which is awesome. Alright, so let me... Uh, I think when we come back... I am hoping that we will be coming back because we have a full slate of farmers, or at least two farmers over there, uh, so that they can start breeding. But um, we'll see. This has been a long project. <laughs> Why can't any of my projects be short? All right, I give up. <laughs> I throw in the towel. I, this this whole villager breeding thing is a sham. <laughs> uh, I think I'm just going to rip up the rail track here. And maybe we'll try this at spawn. Um, I think that's where we're going to get most of the use of the villagers. I still want to have one around here because I've got some plans for... Oh, this stupid snapshot. I've got um, some plans around here for... Uh, a little bit of a well, I got plans. Let's let's leave it at that. And for the plans, I need to have villagers. Um, you know, and I can I can do it from spawn, but that's that's a long way to transport villagers. I'd like to have something somewhere around here, but these guys don't seem to be working, and I need the farmer guys. And actually, <clears throat> I was reading uh, R. Sirius's. Uh, he posted a video about a week and a half ago, um, and it looks as though there may be a problem with the farmer villagers and the way that they breed. I think you actually have to bone meal things, which is fine. It's It may not be an automated uh, breeding system, um, and we can certainly do something with trades, but <clears throat> these guys don't seem to want to trade or... or um, multiply I've been trading with them occasionally but they don't seem to want to do anything so they both traded <clears throat> but none of them neither of them want to go hubba hubba <clears throat> so I don't know I, the whole breeding thing. I used to know. <laughs> I used to know how this stuff worked. I don't know anymore. And the the breed. Oh, did I see hearts? One of them wanted to breed. Um, so the guy that I sa I found down there, I guess, was because I traded with these guys. It wasn't because he just kind of spawned. So I don't. I don't know why these guys aren't spawning anymore. I moved it back. There shouldn't be any conflict between the two uh, between the two villages. So I don't know if um, if anybody does know. Please feel free to uh, <laughs> leave a comment and let me know what I'm doing wrong here. Because from everything that I've watched and read, and this should work. So um, barring actually doing trades. Uh, I don't think there's any way of of doing the breeding, so we're going to have to set up some sort of trading system, but I don't know if I can do it over here or what the deal is. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. So I think I'm going to move on to a different project, because um, I don't think I'm going to make any headway with this anytime soon and we have a couple stacks of iron now which is great so at least that's working got that going for me <laughs> uh, so next project I'm not sure which project I want to do there's a few little kind of dinky little projects that I want to get done uh, well I say dinky projects but I like, there, there are projects, there's things that have been done in the past, so I, I'm not even sure I want to 
really do them on camera. Um, like a, a cactus farm or something. But then again, if I'm going to do a cactus farm, I want to make something that kind of fits in with what we're doing here. So maybe, I don't know, maybe we do something over here. Cactusy. Um, I'm, I'm, for all I, this could be like a ring of farms for, for that matter. Uh, just extend the wall down. But I don't want to do that. I want the wall to kind of merge into the hill here. And I'll probably cut down some of this uh, grass here so that the hill is a little more natural. Oh, I don't know what to do here. So this would be iron. And that's really all we're going to get out of this farm. Um, the villagers doing the farming. I don't really care about the items. I really just wanted it for the breeding. So if that's not going to work for the breeding then we probably don't even need to worry about anything down here. We can just leave this as it is. Um, and just leave it decorative, you know, like a greenhouse. <laughs> I mean, there's really not much use in having it if it's not going to work. So, and to, you know, in order to get the guys up there, I need to breed them. So catch 22. So we'll leave the iron here. I think the villagers were going to go over to the left. So maybe we build a little bit of a farm right here. Um, I wanted to have a cactus farm. And I wanted to have a pumpkin farm. Sort of automated. Uh, so, I don't know. This I kind of like this area for the tree farm, though. Hmm... I don't know, let me think about this some more, because uh, this is driving me nuts. Not sure what I want to do. Oh, yeah. You know you like that. Give it a thumbs up. What's on your mind? Subscribe.